It'll be the first of four in the preseason for the Sixers. The action right here on NBC Sports Philadelphia Plus. Taking Melbourne on Valley Honda Dealers. Dean Vickerman, the head coach of Melbourne York after this and then Toronto. Approach the game on both ends of the floor. Is he going to be cocky, confident? That's what we're looking for. And I think he is. Yeah. By the way, number four in there. Going to be starting their season shortly in Australia. They play in the Australian summer. As a nice look there, and fans saying right off the bat, Simmons, Fultz, will they work together? They certainly did right there. You can see them looking for one another. The nicest thing I like about that is you're moving without the basketball. Instead of watching the guy with the ball, you're making yourself available. Tough to cover. As is that guy, Simmons, 6'10". What it's two. like to be vying for a spot here on an NBA roster. Never made it to fall camp, though. Well, he was in charge of Simmons that time. And well, I'll tell you what, the Sixers are really smothering Melbourne here early. Advantages in height and physicality in most, almost every position. By that time, where? Fault starting, and he takes the smaller players, you might imagine, and Casper Ware on the defensive end. And that's the starting center in, in the post, taking advantage of that size. Indeed, keeps it alive. Fultz has got a remarkable handle, able to finish with the left hand. Beautifully done by Markel Fultz once oh. again, getting the start. And here's Simmons coming up with a turnover. A great end. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, what a play by Simmons. I didn't think I'd get that excited in a preseason <laughs> game. I think more players, by the way, should do that. Back Tough back. out each and every time down the floor. last year, averaging over eight per game. As his defense tonight has been on. Yep. He has taken to heart what Brett Brown said before the game. Joel Embiid, who would like to be defensive player of the year. He switches out on the smaller wear, and that is not an easy thing to do. Catch up with those changes as it becomes necessary. Simmons, beautiful wraparound to Amir Johnson. There's more to be confident about, I think, Ben, right now. I'm not looking for a sophomore jig. Boom. We heard us talking about it. On cue. We appreciate it. I knew Ben was going to be ready to play. This is his hometown team. Yep. Yeah. Right? 16. Australia nearly won a medal in basketball as that pass is intercepted. Scoring last year, averaging about 23 a game. Redick getting a look, hits for a three, and JJ Redick, whether starting his timing is there right now. He looks like a much fresher, more dangerous Joel Embiid. It used to be sort of like an outpost, so to speak. If you went to Australia, no one heard from you. But now that is not the case anymore. Guys like it to fair. It's got a different look now, different moving parts. It's got a little bit bigger. How will they be on both ends of the floor, defensively and offensively? Like two rounds of the playoffs is basically intact. Yeah. I mean, listen, we talked about it. You don't, you've got the best starting five. My team, but last year they played a preseason game in Oklahoma City, the Thunder, playing the starters a lot of minutes in that game. As Simmons continues his gorgeous passing here in the first illegal help side. Nonetheless, Ben catches it and finds Jared for easy two. And now you bring up an interesting point as Embiid launches and hits the three. Good look. Yeah, by charge inside for Simmons. Second time unable to finish a dunk attempt. Dario Sharich. Ben, you can't let, let that frustrate you right now because you, you shouldn't be thinking about the last one. You're thinking about the next one. Barlow with a little hit shot. That's a guy who should first, blue devil yourself. First of all, you're assuming I read, which is the first mistake. <laughs> Second of all, listen, I know for a fact that we see Melbourne get to the rim there. I know for a fact Coach K, the last five to seven years, has really loved having former Duke players on his staff. So I would imagine JJ. All copy for JJ Reddick. Great as an 
independent entity. Correct. What did you think of the first half, by the way? I thought it was amazing. Look, uh, you guys have a team to be super proud of. Uh, extraordinary athletes. So, uh, loved it. Bring the word. Uh, we have 10 players uh, in your uh, NBA, uh, and that's something we're super proud of. So, uh, we're getting uh, people to know the on our side. Uh, <laughs> would have a chance. What, what kind of source of pride is it? You mentioned some of the Australian players in the NBA now, 10 total. Joe Ingles comes to mind to see where we fit into the picture. Uh, for us, winning, of course, as a professional, that's what you always want to do. But being realistic, uh, we want cheerleaders, fireworks, entertainment, people come and get entertained. So, we want to be the best product of that. Point of play, by the way, by Mark Helfels, I have to mention, on DJ Kennedy for the season, 14, home, 14, away. Semi-final, just the final, uh, over a six-month period. Yeah. We're, we're on the road and we're kind of give you a little taste of the difference between Aussies and Americans. Obviously, basketball is basketball, but there are certain baseball. Mike Lascala, that's what he can do, and do it he did. Mentioned to us any one of a number of times.